Welcome back to some more Dark Souls 3 gameplay. My name is Average Joe. We made friends with the archer in the tower, the giant with the giant bow. So now we can finally come back and explore this area. Hopefully without getting shot. So we'll just test it. Okay. This has happened to us before though. He usually hits those guys a couple times and then he was hitting us. But we'll just wait and see. I think we're good. I don't know if it will still do damage to us even though we're allied with him. So I'm just going to stay away from these guys. I'll lure them out so that he can shoot them. Yes! Young White Branch. That must be the tree that Siegfried was talking about. Now we have this section up here that I didn't get to look at pretty much at all. So we'll take a look around the tombstones. Oh, that is a big glowing item. What are you? An ambush! Lots of items. It's another small guy with a big sword. We'll try and lure him out to our giant friend. Nice. That's teamwork, bro. So we just got some kind of a set, I think it was a cleric set, uh, quite a few items. We'll just take a look at the maze of trees and tombstones to make sure we got everything. I see something up ahead actually, so maybe there's one more. Oh, that one's big too. Mortician's Ashes. Hmm. I think that the handmaiden in Firelink will take ashes and then give us new items. If I recall correctly. So what did we get? We got that earlier in the tower. I don't see anything in here. Where are the ashes? They are not in here. Not here either. Oh, there they are. Okay, so she will prepare new items for us. Umbral Ash of a resident of the undead settlement who made a living burying corpses. With this, the shrine handmaid will prepare new items. Excellent. Now we got quite a bit of stuff. Hat. Stats look to be okay. Hat worn by a cleric turned undead. Typical attire for blue robed travelers. It is said that they were entrusted with a duty. Still, its nature is yet to be revealed. Hmm. So we have the cleric hat. I think we got a set of, yeah, robe. Garb worn by a cleric turned undead, unmistakable vibrant blue robes. It is said that the blue robe travelers were entrusted with a duty. They bore large covers on their backs to ensure that they would not become seed beds for spreading darkness. Um, a set of gloves, I think. Where are they? Cleric gloves. Uh, no additional lore. Pants. Yep, same, same description. And we got one other thing too. What did we get? Is it a, a shield? Is there anything new in here? No, no. I think it's... That's what we have. Oh, there it is. 
Blue wooden shield painted bright blue, the symbol of clerics who have become undead, close to a small shield in size. Uh, blah blah light. It has the parry skill, okay. Let's scope it out. See, I'm still trying to figure out how the shield mechanics work. It looks close enough to ours, but I like mine right now. So I think we'll keep it. Uh, physical is way down. Not happening. Let's look at the gloves. Yikes. Well, they give quite a bit of resistances, but the physical was way down. Ooh, that's a big hit to fire and lightning. I think we'll stick with our current attire, the half skirt, half dress. But now, we can go for this big guy here. If I can make the jump. Let's make sure there's nothing else around here first. I think we'll make our approach right by the blood stain. Yes! Undead bone shard. Well, we haven't got one of those yet. And now, I think we'll just homeward bone our way back because I don't want to make that jump. We'll go to the shrine and take a look-see. You haven't given up yet. Then you're a brasher lad than I thought. You can make better use of this. Oh, thank you. I don't need it. Not now I've flown the coop. <laughs> <laughs> the Undead Legion of Farron is a caravan of undead, sworn by wolf's blood to contain the abyss. The Legion will bury a kingdom at the first sign of exposure. Joyous bunch, really. Gaining admission to the Legion is a matter of some ceremony. Inside their keep, snuffing out the flames of three altars opens the door to the wolf blood. Even accursed undead want to believe they're special, it seems. I pity the sorry souls. <laughs> Gaining admission to the Legion is a matter in even by <laughs> That guy is so mysterious. He keeps dropping these little nuggets of things in there. Like, what does he mean by flown the coop? Ah, there you are. I was thinking. You know I'm a petty thief. Well, perhaps I'll go on the prowl. Everyone's dead or hollowed away anyway, right? So I might as well fetch some weapons or treasure for you. Well, what do you say? Uh, yeah. Thank you. You will not be disappointed. Grey Rat the Thief was once a well-known name. Until I ended up rotting in a cell. <laughs> <laughs> Okay then. So we'll send out Mr. Grey Rat to try and find us some stuff. Maybe he'll come back with new items that we can buy or he'll just give us something. Goodbye. I will leave for some time. Huh. What's up here? Is he dead? I believe he's dead. Did you kill him? Oh, pretty. Art thou good yours, master? I am Yuria of Londor, a close friend of his. 
Thanks to thee, your soul is redeemed. Allow me to express my gratitude in his stead. Dignified bow. Another matter. That a lord art thou not? Bearer of the dark sigil. And our lord of hollows. For the time thou remainst our lord. We of Londor shall serve thee. And I, of course, am also thine. Cool. Do you have anything different? Oh, you do. What is that thing? Poison throwing knife. Braille divine tome. Hmm. A braille tome of Londor first spoken by Liliana of the Sable Church. Give this to a storyteller. Okay. Well, I don't have a storyteller. But we can now learn miracles if we, I guess, get a storyteller. Storytellers are the ones that will sell us miracles. Dark Hand. I'm guessing that's a fist weapon. Yeah, fist. Weapon that allows its wielder to evoke an art unique to Londor, the land of the hollow. It is also said to be an ancient relic of a primordial serpent. The Dark Hand mercilessly saps the essence of its victims and can also double as a special shield. It cannot be used two handed. And it has a life drain skill. Oh, it can only be used against humans. So it is somewhat limited. One of the illusory rings worn by the hollows of Londor retain human appearance while hollow. The hollows of Londor are wretchedly aged, fraught with deceit and dubiously secretive. It is no wonder that they are deeply... Take the appearance of a phantom. Cool. I don't know if I want to give up a ring spot to look like a phantom or to look like my normal self. Till we meet again. May the dark sigil guide thee. She's definitely got a cool set, though. And another katana. Ah, tis good, tis what needs. Let's see. I still have no large Titanite shards. Pretty be careful. I don't want to see my work squandered. Let's take a look around and see what else is going on in here. Because we did rescue quite a few people. For the amount of times I've been here, you'd think I'd know my way around, but I frequently get lost still. Check on the seed. Damn it. I'm pretty sure that we got one more person. Didn't we get a pyromancer, maybe? Oh, here is the undead bone shard. So we burn it. Well, let's find out what it says first before I burn it. Increase Estus recovery. Undead bones that yet burn. Cast it into the shrine bonfire to boost the recovery. The bonfire cinders are the bones of undead, and a bone that still burns is a fresh cinder indeed. Before feeding upon death, one must first pray to it. Okay. 
So this is like reinforcing our flask. Does it do both? Do we get ashen reinforcement? So we have a plus one. Welcome and I've cut 17,000 souls, so I think we should try and maybe... Ashen one. Same Ash stuff. Ashen one. Try and level up. Very well. Then touch the pig, Nari. What to do? I would like a little more stamina. I'd like a little more of everything, actually. But I think... I need some stamina at some point for the bigger spells, because even right now when I cast two or three in a chain, my stamina is completely gone. Farewell, Ashen One. May the flames guide thee. Let's take a look at the handmaid. Ah, how Give her the ash. Gracious. Passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, what did she give us? Another... We have some more resin. Resin and... Oh, the bundle is quick. Quick apply. Okay, so I guess we could use that in the middle of a fight if we wanted to. No new spells. Not really a whole lot of new stuff. This key, however, key to a door. Okay, that must be by the rats. Are these two of the same ember? Ashen one, be sure to bring more souls. <laughs> so where is this person? Where is he hiding? They shove these NPCs in obscure locations. hear voices. Well, I might have to just look up his location. Are you behind? Behind a throne, perhaps? No? He is nowhere to be seen. So I looked it up. Cornix of the Great Swamp was hiding right here. We looked at him several times. I didn't see him. He's just fucking hiding. Ah, oh, there you are, unkindled one. I wish to express my gratitude for trusting the lowly pyromancer and allowing me to gaze upon this majestic flame. As promised, I will impart pyromancies to you. But first, you need a flame of your own. Excellent. Careful you don't burn yourself with it. <laughs> so I think that the... Pyromancy works kind of like the magic. I have to equip the hand first, the, the Pyromancy flame, and then select my Pyromancy spells. So I just have to juggle a little bit. What can we learn? Fireball, Fire Surge, Great Combustion. I need faith for these though. I only have seven faith. Powerful Giant Flame in hand. Cool. I think Fireball is probably the best for just kind of starting out. Intense Sweating increases fire damage absorption. Very good. Of 
cool stream of fire. So he is an old pyromancer. Powerful, yet simple spell. Okay. So if we're going to use these, I'll have to bump up my faith a little bit. I'm not really too keen on this flash sweat thing, because that would take up an attunement spot. I don't want to take up an attunement spot with that. And he has... Pyromancer set, I guess. I don't think that they're really any better than what we have. They do have a lot of Titanite, so do I want to upgrade this Pyromancy Flame? It gives me quite a bit of a boost because I have large in, a large amount of intelligence. So I get a pretty good buff from that C factor. Do not be gone for long. What is a teacher without a pupil? <laughs> ah, there you are. It's, uh, same stuff. <laughs> Welcome. Do not be gone for long. What is a teacher without a pupil? <laughs> what do we want to replace? Oh, I think we got a dignified bow. Where is that? Maybe we'll swap that out. Very majestic. <laughs> I don't know if we want to equip that one. It's pretty good, though. I think hurrah is my least favorite currently. Maybe we'll swap these suckers out. So I think that's it for part 14. Thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.